The dog's name is Larry. If you follow wrestling toys, you know that there has been a renaissance of retro style action figures. And now when I say retro style, these are figures that are made to look like those Hasbro WWF figures from the 90s. So like small, limited articulation, shiny you know, plastic. They're beloved. And the, the car they had action the, features too, right? They had action features, sure. Yeah. Like Hogan would do they like there was like five Hogan's. He all did different yeah. things. Carding is iconic. That's replicated in all of these new companies that are using the style. There's a lot of them, some better than the others. Probably, I, not probably, definitely the company doing it the best is this company, Zombie Sailor. He's made several figures, including Matt and Brian from the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. I think they're great. He's made guys like Dan Housen, Jeff Jarrett. It's like real guys. This week, probably his biggest announcement yet. He is making an action figure for CM Punk. Now, you're probably wondering, how is he allowed to do this? Punk was in AEW. They make action figures. Can't just do that. And then almost immediately after that, he came back to WWE obviously can't do that now well this is the weird thing about these wrestlers when they're not technically signed and there was a period of time where he was fired from aew before he re-signed with wwe like two or three weeks maybe a month he signed with zombie sailor they came to an agreement and even though the figure won't be out for a year if that longer probably because he's going to collect money during this agreed upon time, it's okay. It, it's allowed. It's crazy. But the presentation of this announcement was great. He had a video with Punk. Punk agreed to be in the video. Amazing presentation. Have you Amazing it? presentation. Not yet. No. The other cool thing about the figure is it comes with a second carded action figure of CM Punk's dog, Larry. So a tiny little card with a little dog that oh. in scale with CM Punk. The tattoos are all there. They look very good. Famously, Punk has Pepsi, Pepsi logo and Cobra from G.I. Joe on his shoulders. Big tattoos. Obviously, he can't use that exactly but it looks like they're there and they made some adjustments to try to skirt that those copyright the tattoos otherwise are very detailed the head sculpt is a little weird first of all the shape of the head sort of reminds me of a little person think about Tyrion Lannister that kind of like in larger than it should be kind of like larger than like not to scale with his body do you understand Uh what I'm saying yeah, like that sure. kind of shape. Wait, and you know, Punk is is not a little person. He's a he's a man. He's just a normal. Not that they're not normal. You know what I'm saying? He's he's, he's an traditional height. <laughs> his, man. His, his proportions are proportionate. You're, you're digging <laughs> yourself your, somewhere. Yeah, to your average person. I love everybody. Everybody's equal. That's one thing. That that's probably the hardest thing to get over. And then the yeah. expression they chose for it is sort of like eyebrows like up. Like he's sort of like. Eh? He's like <laughs> eh? So many things are right about this. To drop the ball on what is probably the most important part, the actual figure, <laughs> it, just, it just, like, what happened? Nobody along the line was like, hey, can you make this look better? Like, this looks weird. Can you can you stop what you're doing and make this look better? Like, they're like, nah, just keep going. Just rolling. Sonic the Hedgehog situation. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is an ugly do. Sonic. I just yeah. fix it. Just fix it. No one's going to be it. mad. No one's like, oh, I wanted the ugly one. 